Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host Victor Nolly and I am the Comic Hero. Alright, there isn't uh, really anything going on uh, that's special on this episode, so uh, time to kick things off like I usually do. Give away a free t-shirt. Alright, last week's episode I asked which actor played the role of Thanos? Well, the correct answer is Josh Brolin. Now, Brolin, now on social media, I gave some hints. I gave the hint that he played the, uh, the role of Bran on the Goonies from 1985. Um, he also played uh, President Bush in the movie W, and then he also played uh, a younger version of Agent K in Men in Black 3. Now, one that I uh, chose not to not to, uh, not to use because I, I knew it would be a dead giveaway. He played the role of Cable in Deadpool 2. Well, the correct answer is Josh Brolin, and 18 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, your name's been in a drawing for a free tee, and that drawing takes place right now. So, the winner of the free tee for this week's episode of the show is... Andre Savoy from Bossier City, Louisiana. So, congratulations, Andre. You want yourself a free comic hero team. All right. Here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Ms. Marvel question. Kamala Khan, the current... Like, true or false? Kamala Khan, the current Ms. Marvel, is a mutant. Everyone who answers correctly, been in a drawing for a free team in next week's episode of the show. All right, now, D'Angelo Blue from Youngstown, Ohio has requested a comic hero throwdown on showdown fight, and this one features a character from Bird Studios and a character from Marvel Studios, and this one is on a very, very huge cosmic scale. Rares in Marvel, we have the Silver Surfer. And Rares in Burr Studios, we have Broly. These two are gonna duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Hero Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's the Silver Surfer versus Broly. The Silver Surfer is endowed with the power cosmic, grounding him superhero strength and durability, flight, can travel at speed exceeding the speed of light, vast matter manipulation, vast energy manipulation, time travel, telekinesis repair sex of distances, telepathy repair sex of distances, intangibility, invisibility, star creation, black hole creation, pocket universe creation, illusion casting, and cosmic senses. Broly possesses adaptation, agility, berserker strength, blast power, energy absorption, energy manipulation, energy shield, energy enhanced strike, flight, force field, healing, invulnerability, light projection, longevity, radar sense, shape shifting, size manipulation, enhanced stamina, super speed, super strength, unarmed combat skills, and wind burst. Who would win? One thing about Broly is that he's not shy about throwing the first punch, which is what he attempts. However, the Silver Surfer knows this and goes intangible, causing Broly to phase right through him. Broly then throws a series of punches and kicks at Silver Surfer, but the latter either blocks them or dodges them all. Broly then relies on his powers and delivers a series of energy blasts at Silver Surfer. The latter absorbs every blast into his cosmic surfboard and uses it on Broly. Suddenly, Broly becomes enraged. This doesn't fare well for Broly because he has no control over himself at this stage. The Silver Surfer knows this and immediately uses his tactile telekinesis to stun Broly. Just as Broly gets back to a vertical base, the Silver Surfer creates a black hole, grabs Broly, and throws him into the black hole. Silver Surfer wins. That concludes this fight on the Comic oh, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Show. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that fight, and I'll have another one for next week. 
Now it's time for Comically Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! All right, there are four things we're gonna talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and the first one is the news of Richard Brake being added as a guest of GeekCon this summer. Now, Richard Brake, for those of y'all don't know, played one of the greatest villains ever, like in, on any TV series or movie. And I'm talking about the role of Winter on season four of Game of Thrones. Um, in addition to um, that role, he's also, he also played the role of Joe Chill in Batman Begins back in 2005. And he's been on several other TV series like Doom and Ray Donovan. But Richard Brake, a guest at GeekCon. And the second thing, speaking of GeekCon, another guest has been added to the uh, to the great list of, uh, of guests. And I'm talking about Oscar Nunez. Now, Oscar Nunez was a cast that played the role of Oscar on the TV show The Office. That's another... I mean, I tell you, GeekCon is really going out. I mean, this is the, uh, the fifth one. I mean, this is the fifth geek con that, they, that they've had. And, I mean, the the list of guests that they have come out with. I mean, you have Oscar Nunez. You have Richard Brake. You have Michael Rooker, who I'm going to talk about a little later on. Um, LeVar Burton. Samantha Smith. Um, several. Um, oh, Kevin Nash. And also... Um, a lot of legendary voice actors from from uh, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. Um, that I mean, there's really no way of knowing if they're going to they're going to knock it out of the park with yet another guest. But if they do, it won't surprise me. All right, now the third thing is Marvel Phase Four. Now uh, Marvel has. Uh, now, the Phase 4 movies in Marvel are going to be announced this summer. Um, right now, Avengers Endgame is still um, killing it in, in the box office. and um, But a lot of folks think that's the last movie in Phase 3. They're wrong. There's one more movie in Phase 3, and that's Spider-Man Far From Home, which comes out in theaters th later this summer. Really looking forward to that one. Um, you know, Tom Holland, to me has um, played a, a very great, you know, Spider-Man. I mean, I love, love what he, you know, he loved the Captain America Civil War where he made his debut and then, and uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and then Avengers uh, Infinity War and, and most recently Avengers in uh, Endgame. And he's going to star in, in another movie. Now, a lot of folks w are wondering who the villains are going to be. The Molten Man and Mysterio. And of course, Mysterio is going to be played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and very excited, very very excited about it. Can't wait to see it. But uh, some of the uh, rumor, but back to uh, the Phase Four movies. Now, some of the movies that are going to be uh, that are rumored to happen: uh, Shang Chi, which is like the greatest uh, kung fu master of all time. And, and one of the one of the unsung heroes in the Marvel Universe in terms of the comics. I mean, I, uh, I've never read an issue of Shang Chi, but I've read some books that he that he guest starred in. And they, I mean, do I think he he deserves his own movie? Absolutely. And then some other movies that are rumored to uh, to begin development are uh, our production are uh, Eternals, Black Widow, which is. It's going to start, not only going to star Scarlett Johansson, but she's going to produce it as well. Uh, the sequel to Doctor Strange, sequel to Black Panther. Oh, by the way, the, the sequel to Black Panther, that has been confirmed by Marvel, and it's going to be written and directed by Ryan Coogler, who um, who did did the same on the first one. It was a masterpiece, one, um, one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. And then also the third installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, um, more than likely, there's probably going to be more uh, movies to. There's probably going to be more to come and more to be announced. But those are some that uh, 
that I found out that are actually going to be that that are actually in strong consideration to happen. So, as soon as I uh, as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. All right, now the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, now I, I hit it on Michael Rooker. You know, he's he's going to be a guest at GeekCon in August. Well, he's in talks to playing the role of King Shark in the Suicide Squad that's going to be written and directed by James Gunn. And, uh, you know, Michael Rooker, whether he played, whether it's his role as, uh, where his role as Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy, both Volumes 2 and, volume Volumes 1 and 2, and then uh, on The Walking Dead. Great actor. And, um, I, I honestly want to see it happen. Um, my only concern is, is he going to play a physical role or is he going to play the um, the voice of, uh, of King Shark? And is it going to be a, a great... And then also, I'm also wondering if, it's, if King Shark is either going to be a great white shark or a hammerhead or, or another breed of shark. Honestly, I, I don't like in the comics right now. King Shark is a is a hammerhead, and I, I personally I, I don't. King Shark to me isn't a you know, doesn't look right as a hammerhead. I think he should be a, a great white shark, but you know that's just me. Um, I mean this they're they're really going out on this one, and, and they're pretty much going to have to because Will Smith. Has decided not to has opted not to uh, be on the cast of the uh, of, of, Su of the Suicide Squad due to uh, scheduling conflicts, and um, so really the movie it, um, as a whole has nowhere to go but up. But Michael Rooker rumored to play King Shark in the Suicide Squad. All right, that's it for comically speaking. Time to get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up is Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number three. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number four. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number five. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number six. Wonder Woman number 70. Supergirl number 30. Shazam number five. The Flash number seventy. Detective Comics number one thousand three. And finally. Batman the Outsiders, number one. All right, that's 10, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 9,339. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Here's a question again for our free team for next week's episode of the show. True or false? Kamala Khan, the current Ms. Marvel, is a mutant. Everyone who answers correctly has been in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Andre Savoy from Bossier City, Louisiana, who won a free tea on this week's episode. Um, now, the road ahead, I'm not going to have anything planned for next week's episode, but in two weeks on episode 256, I'm going to um, celebrate Memorial Day. Now, Memorial Day is when we honor the men and women who have served our country who are no longer with us. And this episode is in this episode I'm gonna show some love to, 
to these to these fallen and and to also their families. Um, you know, on June first, Saturday, June first, from nine to noon, I'm going to be a guest at the Bossier Parish Libraries um, at at their annual um, blast off to the summer reading program. That's June first from nine to noon at the main branch on Beckett Street in Bossier City. Very excited about it. I'm gonna give away a free t gonna give away some uh, free T-shirts, um, free car stickers, and just about anything else I can come up with to the first few people that come to my table. So if you're watching this, you're gonna be in the area. You're invited to it, and you may want to come early because. If you miss out on because because if you don't you're you're more than likely gonna miss out on some free stuff and I'm talking about some cool free stuff. I mean who can say no to a t-shirt? Who can say no to car stickers? Oh by the way, you're probably wondering what the what's what the car sticker says. It's my hashtag, which is I am the comic hero. And speaking of which, I'm Victor Nolly, I'm the comic hero. I'll see you next week for episode 255. So until then, be safe. Be blessed, be a hero! Welcome to this week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host, Victor Nunley, and I am the Comic Hero. All right, it's the middle of May, and, um, to, you know, the, the road ahead, I'm not going to have anything really special planned for this episode, nor the next episode, but in two weeks, I'm going to raise, a, I'm going to, um, episode I asked <sighs> all right which one fell it was Reed Richards All right, first up is Friendly Hood, Flight, Friendly, Friendly! <laughs>